face real quick and let you guys know what all I've been working on for like the past couple, after mm, the past couple weeks. And honestly, it's, it was all about just ordering the things that I wanted to go in my salon suite area. Let me correct that. I was ordering the things that I want to go in my home salon suite area. Because as you know, I do work from home. So I have a space that's just right off of my kitchen. And I just wanted to make it more, you know, versatile, I would say. Because what I had up last time was a green grass wall. And the green grass wall was really cute. You know, it was nice. It was giving. But um, when I took my pictures of my clients in front of it, it was just a little distracting to me, the green behind the hair and everything. And when I looked at my logo and the colors and I actually thought about what I wanted and the look that I was going for, the grass wall wasn't it. So what I did was um, took the grass wall down. The grass wall is now outside on the balcony. And yes, this is the new backdrop that we have here that I've been working on since yesterday. But I realized I do need a second box of my panels here. These aren't the hard plastic panels. These are actually like foam, foam panels. And it's the black brick wall, glossy, not matte. And it does have like the sticky back one. So you just stick them on. It is renter friendly, but I wouldn't suggest it if you don't, you know, want a portion of your security deposit back. Because when I did mess up and like peel it off, it stuck on there pretty good. And what I mean by stuck on there pretty good, when I pulled it off, a little bit of the paint came off the wall. I'm not too worried about my security deposit. And then on top of that, you know, Bay, he does like this type of work, like painting, handyman kind of stuff. So all I gotta do is match up the paint and patch it up. We'll get our money back. But um, <laughs> if you are worried about that, I really wouldn't suggest it. And if you are going to do it, put something behind it like a board or something, staple gun the board into the wall. If you're okay with, you know, like little holes in it. If you're okay with that, that's fine. But put peeling the paint off, that's a little, that's a little much than just the hole in the wall. But like I said, if you're okay with it, go for it because it's looking really nice. It's coming out real nice and I love it so far. I know I'm gonna love it overall because I do plan on doing the whole entire area, not just this wall here. So I am going to order another box. There's 60 panels that come in a box. And right now I have about four, yeah, four panels left here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these four panels up and show y'all how it works, how it's going and how easy it is. Like I can do this, the grass wall. I had Bay to help me with the grass wall cause it wasn't working for me. I'm just like, I need help. But um, this right here, girls, you can do it yourself. You can DIY this baby. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and put these last four up for y'all. And then after that, I do have some more Amazon packages that I have not unboxed yet. And I have it taken out. So if you would like to see what all I got so far as like business stuff and business items, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and you know, just stay for the vibes. Cause we, we're trying to build our business here. You know, we're trying to make everything cute feasible, versatile, and all of that good stuff. Oh yeah, and another thing that I wanna mention about why I took the grass wall down, it doesn't go with my home decor at all. Like inside here, everything is basically like black, white, silver, black, white, gold, you know, gray, those type of tones. And the grass wall was just green. I mean, I do have plants, greenery in here, but the grass wall wasn't doing it for me because once I finish with my clients and everything for the day. I have a storage closet over here. I'll show y'all the full tour once everything's done. That way you can see where everything is placed and storage and all that good stuff. But I do have a storage closet over here. So once I'm done with my clients, I'll be putting up my chairs, my tables and everything in this closet. That way it's closed off, it's sealed off. And once I'm you know, finished putting everything up, this will be like a sitting area or a dining area, like a little reading nook or whatever that gives the vibes. So yeah, when I mean versatile, that's what I mean. Like once I put up all my business stuff, all my hair stuff, it's still functional as an area in my home. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with putting these up real quick. And let me show y'all how easy this is. And yeah, we're gonna go from here. So first off, this is the panel here. I don't know the sizing, don't quote me, but I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. That way, you know, you can get your info. If you wanna order, you can go ahead and order. Perfect. But yeah, this is the panel. And it has like this little sticky paper on the back here. And as you can see, like it's, it peels like that. So my thing is that I've noticed when I peel it, don't peel it off too fast. Cause if you peel it off too fast, your glue is gonna be stuck. The glue is still stuck over here. And you don't want your glue still stuck over here. You want all your glue, excuse me, I got a burp. Oh yeah, y'all, necklace. Healing by Nay. This is a mal malachite. I hope I'm saying it right, Nay. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a malachite necklace. So pretty. I've been rocking it since I've got it, and she's been working, baby. She's meant to bring abundance. She's meant to bring in some extra dollars, and she has. She's been working. She's been doing what she's intended to do. So, yes, if you see this necklace and you love it, of course, I know you do. It's really pretty. It's almost like a jade stone, but she's a malachite crystal. And yeah, she has them on her website, Shop Healing by Nay. That's my girl. See ya. But um, yes, back to yeah, I got adult ADHD. But um, yeah, <laughs> I get off topic real quick, y'all. So please bear with me. But um, yes, don't peel this off too fast. Because, like I said, your glue will stick to this part and you want all your glue on it, on the back of the panel. Excuse my ice maker. Yeah, she don't got no manners. She don't got no manners. <laughs> but yes. All right, so all of my glue is off the back here. And we have our panel. All right, so I'm gonna go over here and I've been using my instant holder for my higher parts because I'm not, I'm tall, but I can't reach all the way up there. Cause like I said, I plan on doing the whole thing on this wall, this wall over here behind us and this wall over here as well. So that's where the second box coming at. We're gonna go ahead and put up these last four together. And yeah, so I'm gonna use this to kind of mash it in and you know, get it all the way stuck, you know? I've been traveling around the world. I sit on my balcony and wonder how you feel it. I got a career that takes my time away from women. I cannot convince you that I love you for a living. I be on your line, feelings flowing like a river. You be texting back, you ain't Kiki on the river. Message say deliver, but I know that y'all don't get it. Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Made me shake his hand, we got to fuck him for a minute. Walk me off the plane because you know that I'm a swimmer. Supposed to be a dog, but you don't put me in a kennel. Girl, put a muscle on it, all that barking over dinner. I was fucking with you when you had a tiny presidential. You got better when you met me and that ain't coincidental. Tried to bring the best out, you guess I'm not an influencer. Guess I'm not the one that's mad for you. I can hear your tears when they drop over the phone Get mad at myself cause I can't be alone Gossip and messages that ain't what we doing Okay you guys, so as you can see I did put the last two over there on that side Just the anxiousness in me Wanted to see what it would look like on this wall as well Cause I do have some on this wall, this side wall here That's behind us, cat corner to us but it's not done. Just like I said, um, I do have to order a second box, but just a little excitement within me is like, okay, what is gonna look like on that wall too? So I just kind of put those two over there just because, and I'm hyped. <laughs> I am hyped. So yeah, um, this is what the wall is looking like. I'm gonna take y'all down and just give y'all a little overview of what it's looking like from here. Give y'all an overview of what it's looking like from here. And yeah, 
I'm super excited. And then after this, we're gonna get into the other Amazon packages that I have. So let's go ahead and show y'all what it's looking like. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start on this wall here. And as you can see, I did not go all the way up yet, but we will be going all the way up and over on this wall here as well as this wall. I will be going back and fixing that there and that one being that I haven't put any on top of it yet. So yeah, in photos, well in view right now, it is kind of bothering me, so I will fix that. But yes, y'all, this is the wall. And of course, that's over there on this wall, back wall. That's the storage closet. And we're gonna go all the way over here as well. So yeah. I love it. It is giving. Like, I can definitely see me taking pictures of my clients with this as the backdrop. You know, a little greenery and everything. So, stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. We almost done. We almost done. We getting there. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess a little bit. And yeah, put this stuff in the trash. And I'll bring my Amazon packages over here. And we just I'm just going to stand up and open I really don't want to sit down and do a little sit down or whatever. I just want to stand up and open it. I'm so happy about my wall. I'm getting ready to order my other panels as we speak. But yes, let me go ahead and grab these Amazon packages and show y'all what all I got, you know? Y'all are making a mess. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I'm going to package number one. And y'all, I still have to, I guess, what's the word? Lay out my organization for like all my products and everything. So I'm standing because I don't really want to sit down because my floor area is is a great mess right now. It's a real big mess. And I'm not about to handle it right now. I'm just not. So package number one is a nail polish. So this one here, it don't have the name on it. Yes, it does. Cotton Candy D&D &D Nail Polish. Let's see. Can I? There we go. It's like a cotton candy pink. There you go. And it comes in a pack of two, the gel polish and the regular nail lacquer. Regular nail polish for my girlies who don't like gel, you know, to each his own. So I have this, so what I'm gonna do later on, I'm gonna take them out, put them all in my nail polish rack. But I think what I'm gonna do is make that a separate video where I'm basically stocking my nail polish rack. So yeah, stay tuned for that one as well. But here's another to the collection. All right. This one here, and I'm gonna save this bubble wrap because my baby, she loves bubble wrap. Both of them do. The two youngest ones, they take it in the room and start stepping on it and making all kind of noise. But this one here is called a Barbie pink. So she's basically like a hot pink, really pretty pink. Next package, this is gonna be real quick, y'all. Real quick. Ah, something different besides nail polish. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So, as you ladies do know, or if you didn't know, I do sell hair, I do sew ins, I do um, wig installs, all that good stuff. Braids. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna put it. Put my selective services out there. I do braids, some twists, um, knotless braids, regular box braids, sew-ins, I sell hair, frontals, and wigs, and I install wigs. Now, these here are my ringlets with numbers on them to go on my hair rack. Yes, your girl got a hair rack to hang up her bundles, a new look for the rebrand of Certified Glamour. 
okay <laughs> period but yes these are actually black ringlets with gold numbers on them so yeah this goes all the way up to a 28 so basically i'll have my 10 to 28 inch on the rack and if i do decide to sell longer lengths which i will i'm going to order the other pack that has like 30 up to 30 to 50 um on the ringlets so i can have those as well for display okay so these are the ringlets once again everything will be linked up linked down below in my description box if you would like to go to amazon and purchase everything that i'm mentioning here is from amazon remember that So this here is my tagging gun. So I can tag my bundles with my hair um hair tags. Okay. Comes with a little baggie, an orange bag. This orange is pretty. It comes with the black tags. And then my gun, my tagging gun is black as well. So it does match my aesthetic of my business. That's what I'm going for. Everything is going to match the aesthetic of my business because that's the look that I want. That's the look that I want to give off. Everything is black, white, or gold, giving off that luxurious look, the luxurious vibe, because over here, glamour dolls are everything. Glamour dolls are a luxe, and a glamour doll is a luxury individual. Like she's a luxe lady, you know. So we have to have everything luxury and matching, and the vibes all have to go, you know. The vibes have to match. The vibes have to match the brand, you know. So yes, that's my tagging gun. So have that. Let's next package. More polish, more gel polish, love that. Yeah, cause my gel polish collection isn't, it wasn't hitting at all. I just really had the basics, was white, nude, and black. And I had more, but they were all old and kind of dry, not dried up, but just tampered with and not cute for display. So I decided personally, I wanted to re-up on my gel polish. That way everything is brand new. Looking nice, looking clean, and yeah. Dang, they got this wrapped up good. Okay. Ah, there we go. A new white gel polish. And if y'all haven't noticed, D&D is my favorite gel polish. You know, I've used others. I've used Kira Sky. You know, OPI, all that good stuff. But my favorite is D&D gel polish. Top tier, my personal choice, you know. And right here we have a box. So in this box, I did order some more standing bands from Melody Stuzy. So I have some more standing bands. I do have my gold hooks for my bundles. Let's see, there we go. So my hooks to hang my bundles are gold. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. It's, it's about to be real cute. It's about to be real luxe over here. I ordered some more 80 by 80 standing bands. Not, not standing bands. Some more 80 by 80 grit nail files. Ordered some more drill bits for my cuticles, you know, get the cuticles real cleaned up and nice. Can't never have too many of those. And these here are some charms. We gonna save the charms for another video as well, okay? That's all that was in this box here. 
But yes, but once again, thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching. And like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the vibes because we'll be coming back. This is me building my dream salon. And I'm so happy to bring y'all along with me on this journey. And yeah, until I get my actual storefront, this is it. Like, I'm about to make my space feel like, you know, it's top tier. Like when my clients come here, they're going to be well taken care of as always. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, I love y'all. Thank y'all for what? 1,300 subscribers. We here. We are here. Next up, 1,500. That 1.5K coming for you. But yes, like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys and stay tuned for episode number two of me building my dream salon.